Uh, uh, uh. Don't turn that dial. This is the right station if you want to hear about Jonathan Thomas and his Christmas on the Moon. If now you're gathered close about and still as mice, which you are no doubt, I'll do my best to keep my promise and tell you some more about Jonathan Thomas. Now, just in case you don't remember, what happened, happened in December when he got himself in the dreadfulest trouble, which was worser than worse, and that goes double. And that's quite a fix for a boy only six, but he couldn't help it because the Squibobliums had kidnapped Santa Claus. And much to his shame, they said he was to blame and took him to court without even asking his name. And then old King Cole, he put down his bowl and dismissed his fiddlers three and stared till Jonathan Thomas got scared and then said, Oh, I see. By hook, you're a crook, and I'll give you the book. I'll teach you to mind the laws. You may shiver and shake, but make no mistake. You're sentenced to find Santa Claus. So Jonathan Thomas, he started to go. But where or how, he didn't know. But he trudged down the road until pretty soon he chanced to meet the man in the moon. Now, the man in the moon was a man most kind who told Jonathan Thomas that if he didn't mind, he'd show him the way that very day. And to walk would be foolish, of course, when he had such a beautiful horse. So off they went as quick as that, without stopping to pack, not even a hat, or even refreshing themselves. And they sang a song as they rode along till they reached the land of the three little elves who taught them some magic to make things quite tragic for the wicked old witch of Rumpelstitch. And then in a trice, and oh, ever so nice, they bid them a fond good day. And so, of course, they got back on their horse and started to ride away till they reached a river they couldn't cross. And then remembered to say the magic word which they had heard, hun squee non squee giggly vey. And then from all around there came a sound. And you know what happened then? Well, no doubt you'll soon find out, for here's where the story begins again. Scared? There's n -n 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 nothing to be frightened about, Jonathan Thomas. Oh, oh gee, look over there. Shh. Oh, it's a fairy queen. Oh, when the magic word you say, hansqui, nansqui, giggly vey, and when its sound doth reach my ear, then most quickly do I appear. Who, who are you, if you please? I am Tina, fairy queen, who rules the land of never mean. Friend to all, both large and small, if the magic word they call. Oh, thank you, your majesty. You're nicer than nice. In your mind's a wish I see, to seek Santa Claus and set him free. My gracious to goodness and Jiminy Crickets, that's right. Uh-huh, that's much as right, if you please. The road is dangerous and filled with fright and leads through forests blacker than night where snares and pitfalls beset your path and goblins and evil things shriek and laugh. Uh oh that's what I've been saying. It's nothing but terrible. That's what it is, horrible. Many travelers have passed this way and have never been seen to this very day. So if it's strength and courage you lack, then here's fair warning. You'd better turn back. Oh, no. We can't do that, if you please. We have to find Santa Claus. That's right, or things will be bad. And most horribly sad. Your courage to follow this road so dire is courage which I do much admire. And to help you dispel the evil alarms, I'll give you the best of my magic charms. Oh, thank you. Please. Beyond this river of icy doom is the nightmare forest of deepest gloom. And to guard you well from its evil spell, I give you this golden acorn to keep as a charm against the magic sleep. Oh, thank you. Before you enter the forest center, stop at the pepper tree and count the count of one, two, three, and say the rhyme of the magic line... 
Oh, pepper tree, please give to me some pepper, finely ground. Then fill the air of the dragon's lair to make him sneeze so sound. And while he sneezes, you must run before he eats you one by one. And now that I have had my say, I'll bid you all a fond good day and wish you luck upon your way. And if again you need me, say, Hansqui, nonsqui, giggly vey. Hansqui, nonsqui, giggly vey. <laughs> well, now that's real nice of you, Your Majesty. But how in the world are we going to cross this river? Oh, yes, that's right. How in the world are we going to cross this river? Yeah, that's what I want to know. And the question you ask was an easy task. And if you'll turn and look, you'll see that the river which made you shiver has been changed to a tiny brook. A tiny brook? Why, Jiminy Cricket, so it has. And so again, my friendly three, I'll say goodbye and hope to see you three but very soon. You, Jonathan Thomas. Goodbye. And you, Gorgonzola. <laughs> and you... The man in the moon. Yeah, goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Yeah, goodbye. 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 She was awfully nice, wasn't she? Of course not. How could she be awfully nice? You can't be awful and nice all at the same time. It's against the law. Yeah, yeah. Well, now let's not stop to argue. We've got to hurry, Jonathan Thomas. Yes, sir. Well, come on. Up you go on Gorgonzola again. That's the way. Leg over. There, here we go again. Yep. Yeah. Here we go again. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Here we go again. Through the woods and over the hill. And when you move, you don't stand still. Oh, we're off to the land of Squeak Bubble. We'll run and we'll walk and we'll bubble. We'll never come back till we've taken a whack at the terrible land of Squibbubble. We must hurry because we must find Santa Claus or there'll be no Christmas this year. And things will be sad and much horribly bad and people will cry. Oh, dear. So, so we're, we're off to the land of Squibbubble. We're running, we'll walk and we'll bubble. We'll never come back till we've taken a whack at the terrible land of Squibbubble. We're off to the land of Squibbubble. We'll run and we'll walk and we'll hobble. We'll never come back till we've taken a whack at the terrible land of Squibbubble. Oh, I like that the best of all the songs we sing. Oh, oh, Mr. Man in the Moon. Is that the forester Majesty told us about? My goodness to gracious, it sure is. Oh, oh. It looks scarier than anything. It's the forest of nightmares, Jonathan Thomas. And it's a mighty good thing the fairy queen gave us the magic acorn, or we would go to sleep and never wake up forever and ever. Oh, but she only gave us one acorn, and there's three of us. Three of us? Jiminy Crickets, that's right. Now what in the world shall we do? Oh, Gorgonzola. Oh, we got to think this over. Oh, whatever shall we do if you be? Well, I'll be jiggered if I can get this figured. Now, wait a minute. Ah, I've got an idea. Gorgonzola, you hold the acorn in your mouth, and Jonathan Thomas and I will ride on your back. Then the magic spell will travel through you and through us, too. And for goodness sake, we'll all stay awake. That's a good idea, Mr. Man in the Moon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, Gorgonzola, you take the acorn and hold it in your mouth. Here. <coughs> yeah, but don't drop it or swallow it. Oh, no, please don't. Oh, it's humiliating. Nothing but embarrassing. But if I've got to do it, <coughs> I've got to do it. Now then, we're all ready. I'm ready. Then giddy up, Gorgonzola, because here we go. And don't fall off, Jonathan Thomas, for if you do, you'll go sound asleep and never wake up again. I'll hang on to you, Mr. Man in the Moon, 
and then I can't fall off. My gracious, here we go. But maybe we'd better take it slow. For what is in the forest, none of us know. <laughs> I'm the witch of Rumpelstitch, and wicked things I know. The travelers three will quickly see my magic as they go. For I have dreamed and planned and schemed and brewed my witch's brew. I've planned a treat which they'll soon meet as they ride the forest through. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my goodness. I'd almost forgotten about the wicked old witch of Rumpelstitch, hadn't you? But now what will happen to Jonathan Thomas? I wish I knew, don't you? But then we'll find out in the next story of Jonathan Thomas and his Christmas on the moon, and I surely hope that it'll be most soon, don't you? (laughs) 